Hey babes, welcome back to the vlog channel. I wanted to hop on and talk about something real quick. I feel like I'm always starting off in my office, but I wanted to share just a little perspective on something. So we're gonna talk about babies here for a second and I'm not pregnant, but I want to just like kind of put something in your head. So um, two vlogs ago, I posted a video what the vlog was obviously two vlogs ago um i was filming date night sam and i went and had this huge mexican like plate of food like huge i can't speak today and then we went to lowe's and we came home and i was sharing our sink faucet with you guys and during one clip i put the um sink faucet against my dress and it kind of like tightened in a little bit and it made me look as if I had a baby bump and I'm not saying this to call out because I don't remember the name of the person that that said it but someone commented and like put the exact timestamp and then put baby bump congratulations I don't know if it was meant to be crude I don't believe it was um, I think it was genuinely met with excitement but there are some things I want to discuss about that. One, you're putting that there, when you put a timestamp in the comment section, you're putting that there so that other people can go, you like click on the timestamp and it takes you right to there. So basically you're pointing out something that if I was pregnant and I had not announced yet, you are pointing out something that I haven't announced yet. So you're taking the announcement away from me if it was a baby bump. If that was not your intentions. You weren't meaning to point out something that, you know, I may not have announced yet if I was pregnant, but again, I need to like point out that I'm not. That's just rude. Because the only other alternative to me having a belly like that and not being pregnant is weight. Or in that case, I ate my body weight in Mexican food. It's not appropriate to point out someone's weight. So if you don't know me not announcing a pregnancy, if I'm pregnant, then don't you think you should know not to say something about my stomach? Because if I'm not pregnant, that means you're talking about my weight and my belly looking big, and that's just inappropriate. But the main reason I wanted to hop on and say this is because my parents remind me when I get comments like that, that those hurt in more ways than just oh look she has a stomach my parents struggled with infertility for years many 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 years and that is actually how i came to have two older adopted siblings is they thought they couldn't have children and they adopted my two older siblings got pregnant with me got pregnant with my brother there are four of us now so if someone's going through infertility and they eat their body weight in Mexican food and then they are filming themselves and they put their sink faucet up to their stomach and it pulls kind of funny and it looks like a baby bump. Don't you think that saying baby bump congratulations could hurt them in a way more than just the, about their weight because they might be trying for a baby. Again, I'm not pregnant. I'm not trying for a baby. I am not infertile to my knowledge. But there are so many reasons why that is so inappropriate. And usually I don't talk about this kind of stuff here because I feel like it's so heavy and I feel like I'm being so sassy. But I want you guys to understand like putting yourself on the internet is hard enough. Do not point out my weight, my stomach, uh, thinking I have a baby bump. I'm telling you right now, it ain't happening for a few years. And when it does, I will not be one of those influencers that's like 25 weeks pregnant and sharing my pregnancy for the first time. I will literally share it like the minute my doctor tells me I can. So just from here on out, just future references. And again, I'm not saying this to, to call out that person because I did get really kind of sassy with her, I'm assuming, and I said, 
I had just eaten my body weight in Mexican food. I'm not pregnant and it is very rude of you to assume so. And that is true. It is very rude of you to assume that I am pregnant. If you think that I am and I look like I am to say it, if I have not announced it, it is rude to assume someone is pregnant because you don't know if they're struggling with infertility. So from here on out, just ignore my stomach. Don't look at it. Don't point it out. I'm not pregnant. We don't want to be pregnant right now. I don't have any infertility issues. And hopefully when, it ha when I'm ready, it won't happen. But if it does, it's still not appropriate. And I just wanted, I've just spent a lot of time rambling. But I just, I really needed to get that off my chest because the older I get, the longer Sam and I are married, the more frustrating that comment is to me, the more rude it is that I have worked my ass off to work out every day and I have lost so much weight and I have so much muscle that I'm gaining. And then someone's like, you look pregnant, congrats. Don't say that to me. So that's my public service announcement. And actually speaking of working out, my mommy's on her way home. Okay, I'm sorry. I feel like that was a rant, but I needed to make that public service announcement. Like we needed to have the baby talk. Okay, so I'm going to work out with my mom after this. Tonight we are making um, zucchini, mushrooms, and rice. I feel like I totally just flipped off the sass and we are now in a different place. <laughs> um, but that's what we're making tonight. It's one of mine and Sam's like, we have our signature meals. Like we eat the same like six things and that's one of the meals that we enjoy. So we're gonna be making that. And then I don't know how much we'll be able to edit because I have actually got to sit down and edit this um, Amazon video. Because when you guys are watching this, it will have already gone up. But as of right now, it's supposed to go up tomorrow and I have not even started editing, editing it and it is gonna take a hot minute. Public service announcement is over. We have had the baby talk. Please do not point out my stomach in any future videos. Okay.
Hey babes, so I just got back from the mall. I'm outside because Sam is on the phone with work. Um, I'm gonna share the things that I got from Bed Bath & Body Works with you guys, or yeah, Bed Bath & Body Works. It's just three things. But if you want to check out the Sephora haul, it should go up, I think when you're watching this, it will be tomorrow on my main channel. I'm gonna actually sit down and film a main channel video. I got some amazing stuff. Um, let me make sure it's over here. You guys are sitting on my Modere box. So, this is the bag from Sephora. You guys see all that? But, from Bath & Body Works, I said Bed Bath & Body Works, didn't I? It's not what it's called. Um, this is my favorite scent from Bath & Body Works. It's one of the only, I believe, like high intensity candles they make. We're almost out of this one. I also got this one. It's new. It's fresh fall morning. It's almost fall candle time, you guys. I just need to take a picture. And then I'm gonna go put these up. And then I'm gonna sit down and film. This is probably the most excited I've ever been for a haul in my life. I actually think I'm gonna put on one of the lip colors. Let's see what it looks like. Hey babes, so I'm actually going to go get, ooh, I'm actually going to go get lunch right now. I just shared a TikTok, Instagram reel, and a like, like to know it video all in one. I am hungry, it's one o'clock. I've literally only had coffee today. <laughs> so I figured I'd bring you guys along. This is gonna be my last clip for um, this vlog. I'm actually filming this and uploading it hopefully same day. But let me grab my stuff. Okay. Oh, Zeus, you are not coming. You are not coming. No, I love you though. I really do. I think you're fabulous. Okay. Oh, look at these new glasses I got you guys. They are so cute. They're Gucci sunglasses. I got them on the most amazing major sale ever. They came in the little Gucci box. So hungry, I'm like going to scream. I've got to hurry up and then I, I'm actually gonna bring it back so I can work while I eat. Okay, so real quick, I'm at Zach's, or I'm almost at Zaxby's and I wanted to talk to you guys. Um, I can't put you up on there because you'll be too shaky. So I have hit a weight loss plateau in my diet and something that I talked to you guys about on my Instagram is a lot of you said um, doing things like having a cheat day and also reverse dieting are big ways that oh my god they're so busy are big ways that you can really help kick start or I guess like kick out I don't know kick finish a weight loss plateau and so yesterday I did a cheat day and it was actually quite amazing. Um, I gained only a pound from like the previous day. And then today I worked out this morning and I actually, because I haven't eaten today, I have like, and because I worked out so hard, I have like 1900 calories left today. And that is like not the amount of calories that I want to like go to bed and be like, oh, I still have a thousand calories left. Like that's not safe. Does that make sense? So I am, um, the reverse dieting is essentially like adding, I'm so sorry if you guys can't see me. Reverse dieting is essentially adding more calories to your diet because your body needs those like to feed off of because you're working out so hard. Um, so I actually have been doing that. I didn't realize that's what it's like. I didn't realize I had a name. Um, but I have added like, I think it was like 400 additional calories to my uh, like allotted diet um, recently. Um, and I work out I used to work out seven days a week, but now I'm working out five. So we'll kind of see how that goes. But weight loss is a, you know, it's not a one size fits all. And it's definitely not a um, quick thing for anybody, especially at 25. 
you know, and it'll be even harder one day when I'm in my 30s and even harder when I'm in my 40s. So I'm hoping to get to a really healthy place now so I don't have to worry about those. So we'll see. Okay, babes. I have eaten my body weight in Zaxby's. Don't regret it one bit. Now I need to put the calories in and then I'm going to spend pretty much the remainder of the day until we go to Sam's family's tonight um, for his little brother's birthday. Just working. I've got so much to do. So thank you guys for watching the vlog. Um, maybe in the next one, Sam will come peek out and say hey because he has not been in the last few. Um, he is currently mountain biking with his friend. So we'll see. But thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to go below and subscribe if you are new here. And we will see you guys in our next vlog.